Radiology in a Minute. I am Samuel Jang, and this presentation was created as a part of the application for the Radiology and Training Editorial Board. Lymphatic mapping using ultrasound microbubble before lymphatical venous anastomosis surgery for lymphedema. The purpose of this study was to evaluate whether contrast enhanced ultrasound can be used to identify lymphatic vessels for lymphatical venous anastomosis surgery, shown on the right, which connect lymphatic vessels to adjacent veins. The authors limited the cohort to patients with secondary upper extremity lymphedema. Lymphatical venous anastomosis has been shown to be an effective surgical treatment for lymphedema in the extremities. ICG fluorescent lymphography is the conventional reference standard for identifying lymphatic vessels, but it has several limitations, such as not being able to visualize lymphatic channels deeper than one centimeter and superficial dermal congestion masking deeper channels as seen in panels C and D. This was a single center retrospective review of patients with secondary upper extremity lymphedema who received preoperative contrast enhanced ultrasound lymphography prior to their surgery. There were 11 women and they all had upper extremity lymphedema from prior breast cancer treatment. The lymphatic mapping was performed by radiologists using Lumazon. ICG lymphography was performed by a plastic surgeon. Contrast enhanced ultrasound visualized the uptake of microbubbles in all women including in five women where ICG fluorescent lymphography did not identify any targets. Total of 35 surgical explorations led to 24 successful anastomosis. In 33%, the anastomosed lymphatic vessel was identified by both ultrasound and ICG, in 58% by ultrasound only, and in 8% by ICG only. This is an example of the lymphatic mapping procedure. An intradermal microbubble injection site is shown by its echogenicity at the dermis depicted by the red arrow. More distally in the wrist, forearm, and the arm, microbubbles in lymphatic vessels are shown as echogenic focus in the transverse plane depicted by the white arrows. The grayscale image shows a potential vein for anastomosis depicted by the yellow arrow. The middle panel shows the skin markings to guide the surgeons. In the right panel, ICG lymphography shows predominantly linear pattern in the hand and dermal congestion in the arm and the forearm. Of the 33 surgical explorations of lymphatic vessel targets identified by contrast enhanced ultrasound, successful anastomosis could be created at 22 sites, giving a technical success rate of 67%. In conclusion, contrast enhanced ultrasound can visualize the uptake of microbubbles by lymphatic channels in patients with upper extremity lymphedema. It's a promising tool to identify target lymphatic channels and adjacent veins for anastomosis, especially when ICG lymphography fails. This was radiology research summarized in a minute. For more information, please follow the link below for the full article.